I'm never going to an airport ever again. I'm never flying on an airplane ever again. You, you might as well just call me Dory, bitch, because I'm swimming. Oh, hey, my name is Issa, and welcome back to Issa Tuesday. Now, as you guys may know, I'm on tour, and when I am on tour, there is kind of a thing I have to do to go from point A to point Z. Take an airplane, and as you guys may know, I don't really have the best luck with airports slash airplanes because remember last time I talked about this, you know, me getting kicked off my flight for having Ebola? You know, God just does not love me. I have had the worst airport slash airplane experience of my whole life, and I'm ready to tell you that experience in a... Story time with Twains. As you guys may know, I am Hannah Montana. I am the best of both worlds. But today, I am not Issa because Issa is nice and sincere. Y'all, Twains is about to attack a bitch like a gorilla. Let's start the story. This story starts out very calm. You know, me just sitting in the airport all alone with Gertrude and Patricia. Just me lying on the floor on FaceTime talking to my friend about boys. Being gay. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm straight. <laughs> I love... The, the vagina. <laughs> I was literally just talking to my friend on FaceTime about boys and how my life is so sad because I'm literally penis repellent. And then out of nowhere, I hear this. Hey bitches, your flight is boarding. So I get up and then I turn around and you want to know what I turned around to? A stinky bitch that literally looked like the mom from Good Luck Charlie. And this mother that looked like the mom from Good Luck Charlie had a couple words to say to me. You wanna know what she said to me? Hi, I'm so sorry, but do you think you could like keep it calm and like control yourself because my son is right there? Hold up, ho! And what do you want me to control, Amy Duncan? You, you want me to control my sexuality because you're homophobic and you don't want your son to see someone that isn't straight. <laughs> okay, Disney bitch, go back to your house right now, or good luck, Charlie, is gonna turn into bad luck, Charlie, and I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie, uh, I have some really good advice for you. Just make sure to tell your mom to not say one more word to me ever again, or I'll throw her ass in a fireplace. Good luck, Charlie. And how dare you disrespect me in front of Gertrude and Patricia. If we were not in the airport right now, and Gertrude and Patricia were guns, do you see what I'm hinting at? Your show would be canceled, honey. So after she said that to me, I recollected myself because I am a strong woman with Gertrude and Patricia and I walk away boarding on to my airplane. But I am the most devious garbanzo bean in the world. So as I was walking away, there was actually like a glass wall that divided me and the Disney bitch. And if there's a time I can look at you, but you can't hear me. <laughs> and then I peacefully got on the plane and I was fine. Till the plane landed. So the plane lands and everyone gets their gluteus maximuses, that means butts in science. Everyone's getting their bags and items, and of course I have to get Gertrude and Patricia from the overhead bingy thingy majiggy wiggy. But I go to where I put Gertrude and Patricia, and they're not there, and I kind of had a mini heart attack. So I go to the front of the plane and I see the flight attendant bitch. She looks like Donald Trump's wife. And I kindfully say, oh, those are my stick horses slash unicorns. And Mrs. Potato Head goes, oh, I know, I'm confiscating them. Excuse me, Miss Potato Head? I'm confiscating your stick horses. <laughs> Bitch, you're funny. Let me tell you some facts about Gertrude and Patricia, shall I? Fact number one, Gertrude has her own song. My name is Gertrude, yeah. Fact number two, Patricia has her own song. My name's Patricia. Yeah. Fact number three. They have more followers than you on Instagram. Donald Trump's wife. And fact number four. Your lips look like two pieces of chicken put together, bitch. This baked flight attendant potato was literally holding up the whole airplane line trying to get out of the plane because she was fighting with me about a stick horse and unicorn. Oh my god. Oh my god. And out of nowhere, Baked Miss Potato Head with sour cream and cheese on top finally says, Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just kidding. Here you go. Waste of my time. Bitch. I'm about to punch those <laughs> lips and look like chicken. Boo Boo Gertrude and Patricia aren't even guns now. In my imaginary world. You want to know what they are? So after I get off the plane, I think to myself, like, wow, finally all of my problems are just faded away because I am now home. Nope, that's a lie. It gets worse. As you guys can see by the title of this video, I almost got kidnapped. 
And here's how. So I get off the plane. I'm listening to this bomb ass song. It's called like the roll call song by Twains. And while I was listening to the roll call song in the airport with earphones on, I'm pretty sure this really important message was playing during that. A message like this. This is just a reminder to take only rides from taxis and not strangers. Don't die. I didn't hear that message. I was tired. I was in my own world listening to a song about me, Gertrude Patricia, and Tony Twames. So I exit the airport and I see there's like a taxi line where there's a bunch of taxi cabs just lined up, ready to like, you know, service me and take me home. A taxi came around and stopped right next to me before I crossed the street. And he was like, hey, like, do you want a ride? Like, I'm here. Like, let me give you a ride. Now, so you remember when I just told you that it was a taxi that picked me up? Yeah, no. My stupid brain that lives inside of my almond head did not realize that the car that picked me up had no sticker or taxi head thingy that goes on top of the car that says it's a taxi. So I'm sitting in the car thinking to myself, hold up, this isn't a taxi. This is a stranger! Stranger! Danger! Stranger, danger, stranger, danger, blah, blah, blah. stranger, danger. I was in a car with a stranger that looked like Bob Duncan, the, the dad from Good Luck Charlie, but an Arabic version. So basically, my dad. Tony. How dumb can you be, Twames? How dumb can you be, Twumsy? Twumsy? You got in a car with a stranger that is not a taxi, you're gonna f die. I am in a car with a foreign man that reminds me of my own father, which is not a good sign. My butt was literally going to explode with feces. If you don't know what feces is, that is poop. I took my phone out, I went to all of my group messages, and I sent my location for six hours to every single person in my contacts. I was like, listen, I am in a car with a stranger that looks like my dad. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna get kidnapped, taken from my money, and my followers? Do they know who do they know who Twames is? Do they know who Twamsy is? So Devil O Twames in this car is like, okay, what can I do to make him not take me home so I don't die and get kidnapped? So I was like, oh, this guy who kind of looks like an Arabic version of Bob Duncan probably likes sushi. So I was like, let me just like take him to a sushi restaurant. So I told him to like change my address from my home address to a sushi restaurant. Why? Okay, I was hungry, okay? <laughs> that was totally the worst idea ever. As of that moment, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I already been through the mom that looked like Donald Trump. I mean, the mom from Good Luck Charlie. I already been through Donald Trump's wife. This has just been such a bad day. Like, honestly, if you're gonna kill me, do it now. Please. <gasps> and then we actually get to the sushi restaurant, and he pulls out his phone, and he's like, here, pay this. And I look at the bill, and it says, a hundred dollars. So I was like, you know what? If I say anything about this hundred dollars, he's actually gonna kill me. So I just pay the hundred dollars, and I leave. End of story. I didn't die! <laughs> well, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the story time video, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because I'm just a stupid boy with a stick horse and unicorn that almost got murdered. There you go. And I will see you later, my fellow bad bitches. Stay alive and don't get murdered. By an Arabic Bob Duncan. My name is Isa, yeah, but you can call me Twames and I'm the baddest bitch so please don't get in my way and you can stare all you want newsflash